we started uh, uh, in Madeira with a delegation from uh, the Republic of Estonia, trade delegation, also composing uh, coffee people management uh, group. This shopping for the best deal of coffee. Today we have been able to agree that these three factories have the capacity to supply all the coffee needs of Estonia. We in the county government will support them, fully support them in whatever way we can be able to do. And to start with, we want to sign on behalf of these factories, we want to sign a memorandum of understanding so that we can agree on the modus operandi of how this coffee is going to be sold. I mean directly without going through intermediaries. What has been killing the coffee farmers in this country are those intermediaries. If you, you can be able to sell your coffee directly, of course, you are able to make money. I would like to remind you that we in the county government have set up a fund. We have set up, we have kept aside 100 million Kenya shillings purposely to help direct sales of coffee. We want to help the farmer to get involved with the value addition of coffee. So it is a breakthrough. This is the first country to come forward because coffee people, they have been buying nearly coffee, but they have been going through other intermediaries. Chamber of Commerce and Industry uh, brought uh, quite a number of uh, businesses to Kenya over the last uh, one week and um, one of the uh, businesses that came to visit Kenya um, is Coffee People. Coffee People is um, um, a company that deals in specialized coffee. They are looking for the top quality in the world and um, when they were preparing to come to Kenya they had earmarked Nyeri County specifically as one of the counties where they would like to visit uh, farmers, uh, coffee cooperatives, and to collect samples so that they are able to establish the specific farm cooperatives that they would like to purchase coffee from. So the, the reason we are in Nyeri County is because it is considered one of the best coffees in the world. Um, how soon can the farmers uh, see um, the uh, Kenyan buyers coming in to buy? Uh, probably that's a, a di question direct to coffee people. Uh, our indication is that the county would be ready to sell it uh, in the course of the next uh, three months or so. And so um, that, that is probably more now a question to to the um, uh, coffee buyer uh, who's just behind me here and uh, also just to elaborate that uh, he, he would not be buying coffee for Estonia only they they also have um, their uh, shops elsewhere in the region as well in Europe and uh, so that that is the coffee that he's looking to buy
It's a small country, so, uh, but uh, we are among the bigger coffee drinkers in the world per capita. Estonians drink more coffee than Italians per person. In front of Estonia there is Finland, Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Uh, so we consume about 6 kilo of uh, natural coffee per capita per person. <coughs> My coffee roaster specializes in fully traceable coffee, back to the farm or the cooperative. And uh, we buy coffee from uh, Latin America and from uh, Asia and from Africa. Uh, we have always had small lots of Kenyan coffees. So now I'm looking forward to increase the share of Kenyan coffees in our portfolio and to establish uh, direct trade with uh, cooperatives. And this is aimed to be a long-term relationship mm -hmm. so that we can benefit both sides and uh, buy coffee not just once but from year to year to year to year. So I, I've collected, uh, uh, thanks to the good organizing, uh, a, a lot of uh, samples of green coffee which I intend to get roasted back at home and have a cupping with my professional cupping team including a cup of excellence judge. So after that I'm going to get the feedback back to the cooperatives of which coffees uh, had which kind of qualities in our mind and, and then we are going to agree the volumes and prices for our next purchase.